open up and let my servant pass. Whenever it says darkness, you have to say it like uh, Kingdom Hearts. And it's boss time. Uh, we're up against uh, Boysen Wine. Uh, Boysen spelled like poison, but with a B. Uh, let me hit him. You're not doing crap for damage. And down he goes. <laughs> he is not tough. That is the easiest boss. Oh, it's not over. So we defeat his first form, and then the vine goes inside there. Uh, so we're going to need to... I can't hit him just yet. Uh, basically, this, this boss fight is all about dodging, and if Lester wasn't in the way, hitting that seed that he launched right back at him. Now, most of the time, he's going to launch something like that with that attack pattern. Um, it will inflict uh, damage and a status effect on you, uh, except if it's the pink one. Then it doesn't inflict the status effect, or at least uh, Lester's immune to it. Uh, don't find out what status it is. Uh, he's just immune to the status effects. I believe they all uh, have some form of status effect on there. Just don't let it hit you. If the vine hits you, that's fine. Uh, but don't let these things hit you. No, nope, that was the seed. Uh, when he launches the seed, you want to hit it right back at him. And uh, down goes Lester. That actually makes this fight a little bit easier, to be honest with you. And down goes uh, the bottom portion. Now we just need to start flinging stuff uh, back at him when he launches the seed. So this one's more about avoidance. You can try to hit him with the bow. Um, I'm particularly not that big of a fan of that kind of strategy for this guy. I much prefer just waiting for the seed to pop out and knocking it back at him. For me, that's a lot simpler, even though it does take a little bit longer. Damn it. Uh, let it hit me. There we go. Seed. It's, it's not that much uh, longer of a fight, I would think, uh, because I, I'm not usually quick enough on the draw to switch from the bow to the uh, to the sword in order to launch the uh, the seed back. You do need to be on the uh, the sword, I believe, for a slash weapon. If nothing else will work. And down goes the boss. It's all a matter of avoidance that fight. And a new spirit has shown up. Looks like a wood spirit to me. That is a spirit, if I'm not mistaken. You are a genius, sir. Who are? I'm a dryad, a wood spirit. Is that a tree, like, in a dress with boobs? What the hell? If we uh, hang around Spelunkin all day, we might get snatched up. I can't catch a break. These days, I don't have a lick of luck. Someone's been draining your energy, poor guy. That I swore there were boobs there. Was that, was that just me? Maybe I'm just seeing things I want to see. I want to get to Grand's castle, but with all these vines walking away, I can't get out of this cave. Would you give me a hand? Would I? No. No puns. No puns are allowed here. If there's anything that um, I could do, I'd be happy to. And did we officially get the spirit? No, no, we didn't. So what the hell? Why, why did you not join me, wood spirit? We didn't. Did we, we find out his name is Dryad, right? Yeah, we, we got that. All right, let me, uh, let me heal and save. We're ready to move on. What happened to the spirit? I demand that the spirit help me in whatever way possible. We need to head over here and slash at the vines because that's what was not working for us. We need to get through here. Wood spirit, Dryad, are you back? Hey, Dryad, how you doing? This is it, but... Um, yes, I see. Everything will be fine. Yes, you're so hesitant about everything, Dryad. Thanks, you were a big help. Have some self-confidence. Um, excuse me, that's about all I can do. Um, I guess I'll make like a tree and I'm not even... And get out of here. There. I turned it into a reference instead of a pun. No, don't get out of here. Come join us. 
Is is that okay? You don't mind me lumbering along with you? God, this is starting to get annoying. Sure, why not? Get your... <laughs> you almost got me. You almost got me, game. I'm not, I'm not even going to say the sentence. Just get in here. I don't know if I'll be much help, but... At least I won't... God. I won't be bored. Logging time with you guys. Why the puns? Why do you make me hate you, Dryad? Receive Dryad, a wood spirit! Why did you want me to hate you, Dryad? But we do have a new spirit, so let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, we do have Psychic Shield. That sounds awesome. And then, of course, Dryad in the name of the attack magic. Uh, in terms of the notes, we, of course, got a new note because of that. Jeez. Uh, and it looks like we only have uh, one more one more note to get, which probably means one more spirit. Cuts damage from magic by half with the psychic shields, inflicts, and then dryad inflicts wood damage, and sometimes causes sleep status. Now there is one thing that I wanted to show off, uh, why not here? Because Luna can launch Moogle Morphosis. So let's go ahead and turn on Moogle! Go, Moogle! Can they hit me when I'm a Moogle? Yeah, they can hit me when I'm a Moogle. If they spot you, they can hit you. But that's what Moogle is supposed to be for, so that they don't see you. Let me take these guys on. These guys are annoying as hell. Let's grab... Oh, both treasure chests. I didn't see that they had spawned one here. So, stones. Why not stones? And we got Blinkweed and 35 points of damage because we got Blinkweed. Not exactly what I had in mind, and we picked up some hemp. Very nice hemp. Uh, sorry, it's not exactly what you guys think it is. As much as I know you want to believe that you can smoke hemp, you can't. It doesn't work that way. Another get got a statue. I might as well use it. Let's continue on. We need to head this way. Well, that's pretty much the only way we can go. Into Mount Elusia. And here I have busted out the uh, the flail because they are only weak against um, ranged um, weapons. Uh, the the flail and the bow. Uh, Lester is using the bow, and as you can see, he is not doing very much damage with it. it. Looks like he's doing one damage, and he's just completely missing all the time. Defense down. I don't care as long as these guys die. They are still annoying. Um, okay, what we need to do here is we need to hit these guys and we can change their expressions. Ugh, God. We need to make them both smile here. Lester, uh, if you could, yes, thank you. And we can finally head forward here and we find Niccolo. Once again, there is nothing that I want from him. Let's grab this treasure chest here to get a gummy frog. Very, very nice. Um, can't seem to go up that way. I, I doubt I can jump that high. I cannot. So let's head on out of here. And, oh, we do have new enemies. We have, uh, oh, God, are these, like, were-hedgehogs? What the hell? Smile for me. Every, no, you have to be happy. Happy! More hedgehog enemies. I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they remind me of Sonic Unleashed. But to be honest, I had never played that game. I've only seen clips of it and went, What the hell happened to Sonic? Oh, damn it. Yeah, I wanted to stay smiling. There we go. <laughs> Smile. Smile. Hit him until he smiles. I, s I think it's smile. It's usually smile. Usually you want to get these guys to smile. But we do get a treasure chest from the last little werehog there, and we got a polter box, which is no good, because that means I do have to change over to the Nux, which of course I didn't level up or anything like that. There we go. Yes, let me do the damage. You don't worry about it, Lester. You don't worry about it. And we get a Dryad icon for that. Very nice. Smile. No, it's not smile. Alright, uh, let me take these guys on. Uh, actually, no, we need to do the level up. Yes, this is the level up. There we go. Last, last one. 
class change! This is going to be my final class! We are... A Ninja Master! Accuracy plus 10, Critical Hit plus 20, Evasion plus 20, Fire, Water, Wind, Earth, Magic, and uh, Magic Attack plus 10. I mean, what? Four kinds. Ah, that's awesome. Fire, Water, Wind, and Earth. That is going to be our strong point. Um, so there we go. Ninja Master, that is our final uh, level up here. So let me go ahead and take these guys on again, and I'll figure out what expression everybody here is supposed to have. Okay, I believe I need them to be all no expression. That's what that one looks like, and that's what that one looks like. No expression. And Lester died, and to be honest, I don't really care. I'm not going to bother healing him. I'll wait until the next mana, go mana goddess statue. Golden goddess statue. And then he, he can be all better then. Because I don't feel like healing him just yet. More of these guys. Nothing more to do here, but we can... Oh, there is something more we need to do here. I was thinking we were on a different screen, to be honest with you. But we can get a gumdrop out of there. And there is another guy still alive in there. Can I jump down there. Yes, I can. It's the only way I could get down there. In there we do find a marble. Can I jump back up? Down? Over? How do I get off? I want off. There we go. I had to go down, apparently. And this guy came out to play. Uh, he was hiding behind uh, the stone seal. This stone seal we would not be able to get through without our new spirit. God, it takes a while to equip a new spirit sometimes. So let's grab Dryad here. And away you go. Uh, I, once again, I will level uh, up the spirits eventually. Um, just, you know, not right now. Right now, physical is doing pretty good for me. I've only had to avoid a few enemies because of it. These guys, these guys would probably help if I, uh, if I had more magic, though. With them out of the way, we are free to get these, though. A gin icon. Very nice. We're getting lots and lots of icons. I do like that. So let's head out of here. Head back up and take on... Yeah, hold on while I take on these guys. Actually, there is a new enemy here. Here we have a turtle with a mace. So let's take him on. And then we can finish off this last guy here. Down he goes. No treasure chest, though. No treasure chest. Now, I believe we just need to head straight on north here, and we can grab ourselves a magic walnut. Very nice. Let's continue on. What? That was weird. More... More tin turtles, is this? It is. Okay. Uh, this one is uh, scripted. Like I said, these guys are tin turtles. Um, we have to defeat, I believe, all five of them. They usually only uh, come out during the day, but, uh, well, this time it doesn't matter because this is scripted. So we have to defeat all five of them here. Uh, they can hit pretty hard, so uh, be careful, that especially when they launch like this bubble thing at you. Do not get hit by it. I believe there's just five. There could be six, though. Well, that was it. Yes, that is it. And we have gotten a new weapon. The mace. Very nice. Let's take a look at that. How, how does this work? Oh, ha, ha. it's slow, but I'm sure it does a lot of damage. Death blow! To, oh, you get to jump and do it. Uh, in terms of its stats, let's look at those as well. Uh, remember, the, the flail and the sword are 12 and 17. Everything else is 1 to 2, except for the axe. The bronze mace is 15. Of course, it is a bash weapon. I swear it was a bash weapon, wasn't it? Yeah, bash. Uh, so I'm going to stick to the flail. Uh, let me take care of these guys. 